good morning it is early and the sun is just streaming in this morning it's so freaking beautiful i can't get over how gorgeous it is i thought today i would show you through my anti-aging beauty routine now i'm 28 so i'm no way at all old but i don't think i am at least so <laughs> maybe to you i am um, but I'm definitely starting to think about reducing signs of aging, keeping myself not just looking younger but also physically feeling younger. That's really important to me. I want to have tons of energy as I get older and I think that comes down to looking after yourself. So I thought I would take you through some of the things that I do in my day to reduce aging. I'm going to show you the facial that I go and get once a month that has changed my skin. I'm going to show you what I eat for anti-aging, some of the body treatments that I do at home which you can do super inexpensive to reduce signs of aging and just generally kind of chat about it because aging is a kind of emotional subject because I think, I don't know, it puts pressure on us. Um, we're all trying to kind of make ourselves look a certain way and I think you know people are starting to look all the same because we've got the eyes beauty ideals that are so high they're kind of like Barbie doll and there's a huge pressure for us to all look a certain way so there'll be there'll be a few droplets of, of that thrown in just my general thoughts on it anyway I need to get dressed I need to put some clothes on so one beauty regime that I think everyone should be doing because it's inexpensive, it's something we can do religiously, is dry body brushing. Now I talked about this on my Instagram and people went mental for it. They were like, how do you do it? What do you do? So I thought I would here on YouTube show you how. Um, so this is a dry body brush. It is a paddle brush. Mine's from Elemis, but you can get these from Boots, Superdrug pretty much any pharmacy online, Amazon, just search dry body brush. So normally it has a handle and then some quite tough bristles. Now the thing that you do is you brush it along your skin in an upward motion towards your heart. Um, and what it is, is it's incredibly detoxifying the body. It is the number one thing that I've noticed reduce my cellulite. So this is really important with aging. Often as we get older, we get more cellulite. Um, you know, lots of things affect cellulite, eating too much sugar, drinking too much as well. But I do think that this is incredible for just whoosh, sweeping away the cellulite. So what I do is before I hop in the shower, I mean, I've already showered um, and I sometimes do it afterwards. It really depends on what fits in with your regime because obviously some people might be like you have to do it before the shower but if it doesn't feel right to you and you want to do it when you're feeling clean then do what's right for you you know there's no right way of doing this you just need to pop it in your regime you only need about two to three minutes in the morning so um you would do it naked but um i mean bra is risque enough for me um so i'm just going to start at the top of my hand and just brushing like this now at first you're going to be like, this feels quite sore, it's not, it's not painful but it's not pleasant, it feels like someone's scratching you, it feels exactly what it is, that you're just sweeping in an upward motion all the way along the arm and that's done, the arm is done and then obviously really careful around the neck and um, breast area because that's quite sensitive. So again sweeping along the neck. This is really good for lymphatic drainage, it's very stimulating for our skin. Remember our skin is our largest organ, like, you know, we've got to kind of help it out, move things along. So then I do the other arm in a sweeping motion. Do the pits as well. You want a lot of lymphatic drainage around there. And then you just repeat this through the whole body, so the legs, the arms, the stomach, just doing the whole thing and then either hop in the shower or you can just brush off that dead skin. Honestly, your skin is going to be glowing. It's going to be cellulite free. It's incredibly energizing. Like I already feel like ready to go. So something else that I've been doing is um, using an Elemis oil. This is a really amazing body oil 
that is incredibly moisturizing but also it's kind of strengthening my skin i find body oils are really anti-aging it doesn't matter you don't have to use necessarily this body oil i really recommend just buying like one big tub of like coconut oil or almond oil and then just rubbing that into your skin to really moisturize it and spend time kind of massaging your skin as well really anti-aging helps like stimulate the blood flow the lymph um, and I just think it really like deeply gets the moisture in there too. I'm back in bed. <laughs> That's a key anti-aging thing, to sleep more. Well, it is actually. Sleeping more is incredibly anti-aging. So yeah, just try as much as you can to get a good night's sleep. I've done all about my bedtime wind down routine, which is gonna really help with sleep. So I'll link that down below. But if you're someone that struggles with sleep, I would watch that because that will really help. And it is really important to sleep more. But that's not what I was gonna talk about. I was actually gonna talk about anti-aging and breasts. Now, since I had a baby, my boobs have changed a lot. They used to be up in my armpits and now they are not. Um, I wouldn't say they're like super saggy, like I'm still quite young, but breastfeeding definitely they just makes it like them less plump like they don't feel as sort of like you know juicy <laughs> so what's really important for me is wearing the right bra another thing that's really important uh for me is to not do anything that kind of makes them bounce too much so i kind of avoid like running and things that like jiggle them so i do stuff like yoga which obviously there's movement to your breast but not that hard like up and down up and down up and down jumping sort of thing um so i try and do exercise that's just like not too impactful on um my boobs i'm still like yet to find a good sports bra that's like comfortable that really works so i'm on the hunt for that and i will keep you updated because i feel like sports bras are just made for tiny boobs the stylish ones are tiny boobs or the ones for bigger breasts are just so ugly and uncomfortable and you feel like they're strapping you in in this really like ugh, way i don't know they're not for me personally <laughs> But having a good bra really makes a difference. I think it's, you know, it holds your breasts well. You know, when I went to Rigby and Pella um, and got my breasts measured and I was wearing completely the wrong bra, like, I definitely feel so much better wearing the right size now and, like, more comfortable and, like, I don't get, like, strap marks or pains around, like, the waistband and, you know, I just think it makes such a difference. So I'm going to take my skincare with me to my facial today just to chat through with my facialist what she thinks is good and what she would like mix up in my beauty routine at the moment because obviously I want to benefit from the facial but also kind of know if these products are the right things to do and in what order to take them. I was trying to figure out what bag to bring today and I found this right at the back of my closet and like <laughs> this is obviously like a year old. I love finding like old things in bags. Ooh, what's this? So I just had the most amazing breakfast meeting at Little H, which is delicious. Have my classic poached egg smoked salmon sourdough toast with a little bit of rocket. Now I'm heading to do some life admin things, go to Barclays, bank some checks, which seems very old fashioned to bank checks. Um, and I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods to pick up some sun cream because I didn't put any on my chest and it's so hot. It's like, 36 degrees today. Thank you. I've headed into town to go to cycle. I haven't been in so long and part of kind of my anti-aging regime is to really mix up my exercise. I think, you know, really keep your body gassing and not just do the same thing. And I've got to do a bit of cardio, you know, get that cardiovascular system working. So I've come to Detox Kitchen with my friend Ollie. I'm just having lunch. So it's my friend Ollie, who's also was the instructor at Cycle. How did I do? Did you even see Very me? Very good. I can see you <laughs> bobbing around. 
super good. So Ollie and I have dated since we were what? Eleven? Yeah, yeah. We, we like 11. dated at some point. Yeah, Maybe. like for like two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> it was a really, really great relationship. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm trying to get back more into like my fitness and exercise. So how often would you recommend like cycling? <laughs> I think <clears throat> the best probably three to four times a week to cycle. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and get it. Cool. Okay. It's our food. I'm heading to Fafasal, which is my favourite place in London to get a facial. I love it because they can combine like beautiful massage and natural remedies with also lots of like high science, techy kind of facial stuff. Plus the experience is beautiful and the location, the place, everything is just like heaven. Love it here. I just finished my facial, you can probably see I'm quite blotchy. That's from the micro-needling, because obviously when needling your face, it kind of does come out a bit red afterwards because you're aggravating it, but it's so good. It's the only facial I've ever had that like, I really notice a difference in my skin for like a month afterwards. It's, it's incredible. Although I feel like I've got this like, trap nerve down my right side which is not ideal i think i just got so much tension from like jaw clenching so. i'm back home the blotchiness has gone down a little bit i'm still feeling a bit tingly from it um but i break my strap on the way home with this dress so sad i hate when things like that happen as part of like anti-aging i'm really trying to have regular facials. I remember when I was about 16, I met this woman and she was so, so beautiful, like so young and she was like, yeah, I'm 60. And I was like, wow, you look incredible for 60. And she said, the one thing that I can kind of tell you that has been amazing is that I have facials all the time. I went out of focus there. <laughs> Let's move around a little bit. So she said she had facials all the time. So I was like, took stock and said to myself, as I get older, I will look after my skin. Obviously I was really young and then I didn't at all and sort of put all the loads of crap on it. But as I've gotten older and obviously, you know, I can afford better skincare, I have really invested in good skincare and having facials and really looking after my skin as much as possible. And obviously you can, if you can't, you know find a good facialist or afford a facial you can do a facial at home but just spending that time to be like exfoliate um massage stimulate the flow you know put on a nice moisturizing mask even if it's homemade like avocado and olive oil mixed together and put on your skin you know but just giving that time to your skin i think sorry giving that moment and love to your skin makes such a difference Another big thing that I'm doing for anti-aging is obviously drinking lots of water. It's probably something I say over and over again, but it is so important. Um, another thing is really trying to eat lots of oily fish. This is something that I really love doing. I absolutely love salmon and mackerel and sardines and herring and what are the other oily fishes? I think that might be all of them. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below if I've missed a few. But I've been trying to have them. They're rich in omega-3. Um, they're really good for stimulating collagen in the skin. So I'm trying to have fish three times a week. But I'm also trying to not wear makeup. Obviously, you can see I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Um, and I'm not supposed to after this facial for like a day or two just to let the skin go. But I've been consciously making a decision to take a few days off makeup a week just to give my skin a chance to breathe and not kind of clog it up and put too many things on it and obviously wearing lots of sun cream because sun cream doesn't just protect you from the sun it protects you from pollution and I live in London and it sometimes it's pretty gross how dirty my skin gets at the end of the day so I really 
try and make sure that that sun cream is protecting my skin as much as possible. The other thing that I try and do is eat lots of antioxidant rich foods, um, things like berries and dark leafy greens. Acai powder is a really nice thing to pop in your smoothie in the morning, really rich in antioxidants. Um, so I try and put that in, I'll make an acai bowl, which is like the dream breakfast in summer, where you just put some acai powder with frozen bananas and frozen berries and blend it together and boom, you've got this beautiful, oh, there's a fly, a purple uh, smoothie bowl and you can just chuck some granola and fresh fruit on top of it. It's kind of like the most perfect breakfast to have in the morning. It's like, so good. My skin has finally calmed down now from the facial, but I'm starting to break out a little bit, which I think like naturally happens when you have a facial, doesn't it? It just guess like draws everything to the surface. So yeah, I wanted to talk more about like anti-aging. So I don't think anti-aging is like just about your physical appearance. I think it's about your mindset. And I think that like, doing lots of things that make you feel young is a really awesome way to anti-age your life so when like Shay is playing with his toys I often get down and like crawl and like grab his toys and play with them and like kind of make silly like voices and noises and you know when you're walking down the street maybe like skip or like just do something fun that's not about like being serious and being like older and mature I think sometimes we just need to do like things that um yeah make us sleepy sorry my eyes are like watering I'm not getting like too emotional about this so it's like I'm like crying but um sometimes I've got one like I have really watery eyes one of those people that like just like tears stream down quite often which isn't ideal, especially when you're having like a really nice moment and suddenly you start crying and people think you're crying. And so I think that's something that I'm really working on to anti-age my life is to feel youthful, to feel young, to feel energized, to feel ageless, you know? And I think there's so much pressure on us to kind of look a certain way. And obviously I buy into that, which is why I'm, you know, looking after my skin and other things. But I think we also have to remember that actually it's not just what we look like, it's how we feel inside ourselves. It's feeling confident and good about ourselves. And, you know, my intention for life, my overall aim of the whole of my life is to be at peace with myself. I think if we were all at peace with ourselves, how freaking happy would we be? If we weren't constantly telling ourselves we're fat or ugly or not good enough or that we need to be more than we are, like life would be sweet. It would just be so easy. So I think that's my overall intention is being at peace with myself and loving myself every day unconditionally, what I look like, what my energy levels are like, how I've showed up, how well I've done something, you know, just complete love for myself. So that's kind of my overall intention of life. And I'm gonna get there. I believe in it. <laughs> so guys, that was my video on anti-aging. It's 10 o'clock, I need to hit the light. I need to go to bed because I need to get my sleep so I feel good in the morning and I wake up with tons of energy. Right, I'll see you next time. Bye.